forestry sector has the largest share in the target for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Folu Net Sink 2030 in Indonesia is an achievable condition where the level of greenhouse gas emissions from the forestry sector and land use in 2030 will be balanced or even higher than the emission level. What is Folu Net Sink? Forestry and other land uses, Folu Net Sink is a condition when the amount of carbon absorbed by the forest and land sector is equal to or greater than the emissions it produces. This target is very ambitious for Indonesia, considering that the forest and land sector still accounts for 60% of total GHG emissions. Indonesia's Folu Net Sink 2030 Basic Idea There are three basic ideas for Indonesia's Folu Net Sink 2030, including Sustainable forest management Environmental governance And carbon governance what is the purpose of Folu Net Sink? The objectives of Indonesia's Folu Net Sink 2030 operational plan include Strengthening policies and work implementation to achieve Indonesia's Folu Net Sink 2030 with systematic and measurable steps. Establish an operational action plan for reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the forestry and land sector towards Indonesia's Folu Net Sink 2030. Elaborating the NDC targets into detailed action plans for reducing greenhouse gas emissions in the forestry and land sector using Indonesia's Folu Net Sink 2030 approach. Affirming the main supporting activities for the implementation of programs and activities to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the forestry and land sector towards Indonesia's Folu Net Sink 2030 as well as the stages of work and operation and evaluation become the basis for the preparation of the manual of operation of each policy and the main supporting steps of the national program Indonesia's Folu Net Sync 2030. Folu Net Sync Scope There are at least 15 scopes of Folu Net Sync that need to be known, including 1. Reducing the rate of deforestation of mineral land. 2. Reducing the rate of deforestation of peatlands and mangroves. 3. Reducing the rate of forest degradation on mineral land. 4. Reducing the rate of forest degradation on peatlands and mangroves. 5. Plantation forest development. 6. Sustainable forest management. 7. Rehabilitation with rotation. 8. Non-rotational rehabilitation. 9. Peat restoration and peat water management. 10. Mangrove rehabilitation and afforestation in ex-mining areas. 11. Conservation of biodiversity. 12. Social forestry. 13. Introduction of ecosystem replication, green open space and eco-riparian. 14. Development and consolidation of customary forest. 15. Supervision and law enforcement in supporting the protection and security of forest areas. Mitigation actions Folu Net Sink Sector 2030. Determination of priority locations for the implementation of mitigation actions by using the templates are as follows. Prevention of deforestation and degradation of natural forests Prevention of forest destruction in concession, forest utilization permit or PBPH. Development of plantation forest in PBPHHT. Sustainable forest management, PHL. Increasing forest carbon stock, PCK. Peatland management. Natural Forest Conservation The implementation of Folu Net Sync 2030 will affirm Indonesia's position and dignity as a party to the UNFCCC and fulfill Indonesia's commitment to the Paris Agreement and Law 16 2016. Therefore, it takes determination and determination, careful implementation, and perseverance and patience to continuously make improvements from time to time in achieving our best efforts to protect the earth of Indonesia and everything in it.